Emily Pellegrini is not a real person. This is not a real person.com. This is an AI generated influencer who has gained hundreds of thousands of followers, is making tens of thousands of dollars off of horny simps on the internet. Nothing to be surprised about. This is a Daily Mail article written about her, although she isn't real. Meet the world's hottest model catching the eye of famous footballers, MMA fighters, and billionaires. But is all what it seems? And no, all is not what it seems. No, it is not. I guess that the truth here is a real woman is superimposing an AI-generated face onto her face and using a fake name, not revealing any personal details so that she can make money off of online simps and not have to jeopardize her personal relationships or her career to do so. That would be my guess, but this also might be owned by a company yeah. that is profiting off of it. We missed, uh, we missed a $20 super chat here from oh. Bucky Ducky says, how many super chats for Brett to, to kiss a duck on stream. We don't really have any ducks there here, no but there are chickens. Here, and I'm not doing that. Sorry. You're not going to kiss a chicken if, for if, money? Look, if 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 he just no, I can't criticize that guy and then and then debase myself that way. I do enough of that as it is. That's okay. okay. Uh Emily Pellegrini has amassed an Instagram following of 123,000 in 4 months. She's regularly offered dates to expensive restaurants and offered vacations. Emily is an AI generated image and earns her creator thousands on a website called FanView. Here's a picture, here's her Instagram, if you're yes. wondering. The, so yes. it says, uh, 23 years old, LA, the spicy link you are looking for, and this goes to Emily Pellegrini's exclusive page on FanView. It's basically an OnlyFans knockoff website. Here's her bio. 23-year-old beauty, welcome to my world of electrifying allure and unapologetic adventure. Let's create moments that tingle your senses and bring out your wild side. I'm here to break boundaries and ignite your senses, exploring the world of passion, confidence, and allure one bold step at a time. Life's a party and I'm the host. With a sprinkle of charm, a dash of glamour, and a whole lot of cheeky fun, I'm here to make your day sizzle and your nights sizzle even more. Wait, Emily you don't do kisses. something different during Heart the emoji. day? Like you, uh, you, you don't just sizzle at night, you sizzle during the day too? That honestly sounds like it was written by ChatGPT. So <laughs> um, I guess that a corporation is using Emily Pellegrini, who is not a real person, as a product to profit off of. So if you are messaging Emily Pellegrini, you are probably messaging a man. That's the hard truth. Um, so let's let's look at some of her posts and see if you guys think it's clockable. Um, because Brett didn't think a lot of these photos were clockable as a fake person, but sometimes you can see it in videos when she's doing lip syncs and TikToks. Um, the I face, think the I face see, never looks right. The face never looks right. I think that the body of this woman is real and she does exist, yep. but she is superimposing a, an AI generated face onto her face. Um, I have no idea what's going on underneath it, yep. but she looks a little bit different in Was every this post. The one, okay. Like, like, like this one here. Um, it's cut off a little bit, uh, but you can see like that is a real person. Yeah. Um, but maybe I'm just coping. Someone was tweeting about this and said, it doesn't matter if this video is really fully AI generated. AI art isn't even fully AI generated. Human artists choose the prompts and alter the details. Yeah. We're sliding down a slope where AI is responsible for more and more of what you're seeing. It's easy to predict the end. I'm not going to answer every reply guy who wants to believe Emily Pellegrini is real just because AI didn't generate the video from scratch. 
she's not. And they are linked to the Daily Mail article and her Instagram profile. If the you pictures, scroll, the like, pictures are more noticeably fake than the videos. That's what I meant to say. Like the yeah. to me, the 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 pictures scream fake the videos maybe just because you get distracted by how realistic the the her body looks but how the face doesn't really match the body well you pointed out that people are going to be looking at the body yes. men are going to be looking at emily pellegrini's body not her face so maybe that's why it fools so many yep. um i i guess that is like this picture is how I she don't know, gets I don't away know if this it. one's going to be even visible in here but this picture is very fake to me yeah, look at that. The picture uh, is very, very fake. She's hanging out with this other AI-generated influencer. They're ice influencer. skating. They're ice, ice skating. skating together yeah. with no pants on as, on a fake ice rink. As one does. As one does as one if does. you're a fake person, if you're a robot. Yes. Um, and I found another one who is possibly AI-generated called Olivia Casta. So wait, does this, is this, is this a lady, is, does this lady just have such a horrid face that they're, just, they're like, look, your I don't body know. is fantastic, but your but, face is just, whoa. But then to your point that men are looking at her body, not her face, why would it even matter if she were a butterface I mean, in, in reality? In the like, real world, it wouldn't matter. When it comes to digital marketing, it probably does a little bit. I guess so. Yeah. Yeah, but my, my question is, what is the distinction between a real influencer and an AI influencer if all of these real influencers mm -hmm. are editing their photos and their videos to death anyway? Yeah, we're at the this distinction, point now. The, the distinction is blurring between real and AI, and real women kind of started that process by photoshopping themselves and getting yeah, Botox. But here's the thing, but me, then it's always that the, like men in magazines get blamed for heavily photoshopping the women in their pictures. And I'm always like, like what, what's worse? Heavily photoshopped, very fake images or the people who do the no makeup, no airbrushing trend, like, like for the pictures. And they have to brag about how there was no Photoshop for this picture, which is actually worse to me because it's activism and stupid. I'd rather you just show me the very, very fake photo than pretend like you're special because you didn't airbrush your picture. I mean... The idea that women in magazines were photoshopped because of misogyny is bogus anyway. <laughs> um, corporations are responsible for that, and men who are on the cover of men's magazines are photoshopped just as much. So yeah, I don't, I don't really believe that excuse. But Olivia Casta is another influencer that has three million followers that uh, I, I found her because she was in the same thread this person was posting. Uh, guys keep sending me pics of this digitally filtered model. In this thread, I'm going to discuss the implications of AI technology to increase attractiveness in videos and photos. And uh, it says no one exactly knows what editing Casta used to achieve her unusually perfect look. It appears as if some kind of AI filter has been applied to her facial features. It's also, also possible that we're looking at a composite of two models that have been deep faked together. Her secret won't last long, given the current pace of AI improvement. In a very short time, less than five years, I expect filters like this to be widely available to everyone and with even better quality. And it won't matter anyways, because I, I really do believe that we're coming into this new generation where this will just be accepted as the norm and not the exception. Yeah. And people will get more depressed and we will get more vapid and everyone will become more narcissistic. I, I just think it's very strange that um, the Emily Pellegrini character, the persona, yeah. tries to put on like she is a real person that has a real life. Because in her Instagram highlights, you can see these uh, vlogs, essentially, of her vacations to Italy, Spain, France. And she has an age. But what does it matter if Emily Pellegrini has an age or a location yeah. if she doesn't exist, is never going to visibly age, and doesn't live anywhere. It's not a real person. Yeah. So that... Because we all know that the real reason these things exist is because people use it as uh, yeah. masturbatory material. So the fake age actually does play a very, very real role. Right, yeah. It does matter. And apparently Emily Pellegrini is getting followed by actual celebrities who have been duped into thinking she's real. Or maybe they just don't care. Um... So Emily began earning her creator nearly $10,000 in only six weeks on FanView. 
They explained, I asked ChatGPT what the average man's dream girl is, and it said brown hair, long and long legs. So I made her exactly how it said. Her legs are not what they're looking at in this photo. That's that's just <laughs> Yeah, that's all I'm stupid. saying. They're leaving some details out. Just the goal bit. was to make her likable and attractive. I wanted to keep her as real as possible. And Emily has quickly attracted the attention of rich, powerful, and successful men. I highly doubt that, to be honest, if the rich, powerful, successful men of the world can get attention from real women anytime they want. Um, know, they man. said, it's very different who contacts her where. Via Instagram direct message, there are really famous people like footballers, billionaires, MMA fighters, tennis players. No, I'm sorry. I absolutely believe that there are athletes that didn't look twice and just slid into the DMs. I absolutely believe that. Are they really that dumb? That's so blackpilling. I, I, I look, uh, They said they think she's real. They invite her to Dubai little, to little, meet. I'm sorry. Little brain <laughs> checks in, big brain checks out. Yeah, yeah. One unnamed famous face who contacted her allegedly knew Cristiano Ronaldo, the creator claimed. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a male who runs the account. There was a bit of a moment where I was like, WTF is going on. A professional footballer has also popped into her messages asking, how is it possible that such a beautiful lady doesn't have a boyfriend? Uh, <laughs> the German star even asked the AI model for her contact details. Got a WhatsApp? Got a WhatsApp? Got a WhatsApp? <laughs> got a WhatsApp? That's what it's it literally, I'm, I'm literally, got a WhatsApp? Got a WhatsApp? Got a WhatsApp? And messaging this man back is the man who is behind the account. And he said, I actually only use Instagram and FanView. And the guy responded, how can we stay in contact to know each other? Well, you know. Well, it's uh, it's not possible that they can ever meet in person because who would show up? Yeah. Um, this creator said, in the beginning, I worked 14 to 16 hours a day on her to really figure out which Emily programs work well for her face, body, and video. Now I work around eight hours a day every week. I'm not the kind of person who goes to party. I just work. I love this. It says she's also got a sister. <laughs> <laughs> named Fiona. A fake AI sister. A fake sister. AI sister. Very weird. Kind of incestuous also. Yeah, just, just a little bit. Um, Emily and Fiona's success comes after the use of AI generators has skyrocketed over recent months with unstable diffusion producing more than 500,000 NSFW images each day, according to Business Insider. The, at the end of the day, as much as people hate that phrase, if it seems too good to be true, it, it really is for the most part. And, uh, it's just and I know that we laugh. Because... I know we laugh at the joke that, that I make. <laughs> the, the, you know, there's there's hot milfs, there's hot cougars five miles away. But this is a huge part of the internet economy now. Is just people on the internet are horny, and when that sets in, a lot of times rational thought checks out. And the other thing it takes advantage of is they're looking in passing. It's not like they're doing a deep dive. Nobody pulls out a magnifying glass from nowhere and goes like this. You're to me, it wouldn't take a magnifying it also glass takes, to figure it, it out. It also takes Cut. advantage of like the fact that people are looking in passing on a phone, on a smaller screen, right? It's, I don't know. It's uh, to me like I think it should be easier to tell, but over time yeah. these technologies are going to get better and maybe maybe I won't even be able to tell the difference. And a lot of other people may not just be as clued in as we are to the what, what's going on in the world right now mm -hmm. and they're operating like I just maybe it's from growing up with telemarketers, but I just assume everything's a scam. Don't trust. I don't trust. And like, if, if they say it's too good to be true, it's too good to be true. I don't trust anything. Like, I'm sure there's a, I've lost out on some fantastic opportunities because I'm like, that doesn't seem real. Nah, nah. Yeah. I, I don't understand what the market demand is for this um, because there isn't a shortage of real hot Instagram models that are out there doing OnlyFans and catering to this market i guess it's just that men finally want to get in on it yeah this There's man who made. created emily pellegrini realized correctly that he wouldn't be able to make money off simps off of his own image so i guess he Poor decided to, to create a fake one i don't blame him make your money king like it's <laughs> porn is destroying our culture clearly um I mean, 
I guess it's a lesser of two evils for a fake person to do porn. Interesting, uh, interesting question. Uh, interesting philosophical debate right there. Yeah. Right. I don't know. It's uh, clearly reaching a lot of people. It is. And uh, I mean, I'm more interested in kind of just the, the weird sort of um, surreal nature of it. You know, where, real, where the real world ends and, you know, this new technological fantasy world begins is kind of crazy. Um, we're in a weird time, in a weird place. Everything is basically a Black Mirror episode in a lot of ways now. Mm -hmm. I recently saw an EV magazine article that was titled, How Can We Compete I With AI Models? And or or your amaranth AI girlfriend who only costs you two hundred dollars. Yeah. Uh, we got a twenty dollars super chat here from Baron of Gray Matter. He says, "So if a fifteen-year-old girl makes an Emily and talks to men, what liability do the men who engage have?" Probably none, right? I guess it would be the platform that allows it to happen. Yeah. They also interviewed the founder of FanView, the OnlyFans website. Do you think this will end up being one of those, like how much do we hear people talk these days about the idea of like ethical makeup, ethical meat, ethical, all these, is, is there going to be a whole genre of just what they dub ethical porn? Meaning, I mean, that's already a thing there that they talk about, like, like, right? So it's like, this will be like ethical pornography. I mean, everyone's idea of ethical pornography was OnlyFans, right? Because yeah. it puts the power into the hands of the creator. Yep. Um, but there's no, there's no ethical way to produce porn because it's targeting lonely men. It's contributing to the loneliness ep epidemic. It's enriching corporations. Um, and overall coarsening our culture more and more beyond repair. Um, but to the, I mean, a lot of people talk about this, like how are real women going to respond to being in competition with AI girlfriends and AI porn models, AI Instagram models, AI in general. And I think that it's a question that should answer itself. If you only offer the same things that AI porn offers, then yeah, they're gonna beat you at your own game. You need to learn to offer something of value that is outside of your sexuality so and your So what you're saying is they appearance. need to know how to cook. I mean, it's, it's more than that, right? Mm. Yes, yes. Um, I'm maybe maybe somebody's created like a, like an app you can download that removes the filters from videos you look at and stuff. There's no way that's gonna. Th that'd be great. There's no way that's gonna work. Well, plus nobody would want it. Everybody no, wants to. They want to live in the lie. Everyone wants to live in the lie. Exactly. Yeah. That's that's the way it is right now. There was like a, a face app filter where it would take the makeup off of someone, but usually it would just make them look like a gremlin, not like how they would look like without makeup on. Mm -hmm. Um, so I, that's the only attempt I've seen. Thanks for watching. Listen to full episodes of Pop Culture Crisis on Spotify. Keep up with us on social media and make sure you subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss the show. Bye, guys.